Tonight we're learning exclusive new details about a potential lead in a case that has haunted St. Louis detectives for 40 years. It involves the body of a little girl who was found beheaded in the basement of a vacant building. She remains unidentified and so does her killer. Tonight our Christine Byers explains why homicide detectives are excited about a social media post and how it could finally unlock the answers they've been searching for all this time. We do want to warn you some of the details and images in this story could be disturbing for some viewers. You know, on the surface, there certainly seems to pee information in that post. We caught up with St. Louis Police Sergeant Charlie Wall at the vacant lot where this apartment building once stood in the 5600 block of Clemens Avenue. It was vacant on February 28, 1983, when two men told police they went in hoping to find something to fix their car. Instead, they made a grisly discovery when they flicked on a cigarette lighter in the dark basement. The decapitated body of a little girl lying on her stomach. A cold case of this magnitude, I think at, at various points over the years, it's received some national attention. Yes. She was naked from the waist down, wearing only this bloody yellow v-neck sweater. This red and white rope bound her hands behind her back. Her nails were painted red, but sloppy, like any child painting their own nails would do. It's unimaginable. And it proved impossible to solve. Anybody that had anything to do with this case in its early days was doing everything in their power to, to try to solve it at that point in time. And here we are this many years later. Ten years ago, police exhumed her remains to do further DNA testing. They've combed through multiple databases that have led to breaks and other seemingly unsolvable cold cases across the country. Nothing has ever clicked in this case. Then, just one month ago, this post titled Trying to Find Missing Sister by a poster named Finding Janetta on the website Reddit popped up. In it, the author writes she and her older sister had different fathers and lived with their maternal grandmother after their mother went to jail in 1981. The poster says she remembers her sister's father picking her up just after New Year's in 1983 and never letting her or her mother ever see her again. The remains of the little girl, who has become known as Little Jane Doe, were found about a month later. Other specific details from the post include a birth date of May 15, 1973, which would have made her nine years old at the time she last saw her sister and within the eight to 12 year old age range, forensic experts believe the remains fall. A possible name, Janetta Brooks. References to the little girl's father having ties to Terre Haute, Indiana and St. Louis. Relatives of the child's father confirming that they haven't seen the child since Valentine's Day in 1983 either. The level of detail that is contained within this post, um, there seems to be a fair amount of information that could potentially fit with the information that investigators already know. But whoever Finding Janetta is has gone dark. Five on Your Side posted a comment asking the author to respond. We haven't heard back and neither have the police. You know, we have to hold out hope that there's somebody that knows something, somebody that maybe you know, just saw a child walking down the street around that time, February 28th of 1983. A little girl in a yellow sweater. Christine Byers, five on your side. We've posted the entire Reddit post on KSDK.com. If you have information on this case, please call St. Louis Police at 314-444-5731. If you'd like to remain anonymous, just call Crime Stoppers at 877-371-TIPS.